Hi, my name is Steve McNeil, and I'm the product manager for 45 Drives. Today I'd like to talk to you about staggered spin-up. Now what staggered spin-up is, is that uh, basically when a, when a 45 Drive server actually spins up, 45 Drives come up simultaneously. And what that means is, is that when they spin up, they have a huge power drop, and then they dip back down to normal. Now what staggered spin-up does is it sends a command to each one of the drives, and it starts with each drive individually. So instead of a normal startup, the power drive would be high and then back down to normal. Staggered spin will actually bring each drive on individually and basically allow the, not to have that huge power spike at the beginning. A lot of our customers have asked for this in their data centers, and we've decided to provide it for them. And I'm going to demonstrate how it works right now. So what we have here is we have the 45 drive server, and we have a kilowatt meter, which will just give you an approximate uh, wattage in input from the AC side to the power supply. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to start the unit. And you'll see as the unit begins to spin up, the wattage will increase quite rapidly for a few seconds, for a split second, and drop right back down again. Now what this means is that when the drives spin up themselves, the drives just have a huge drop for that moment just to get each one of the individual platters and each one of the hard drives spinning up. Once they get the, the hard drive platter spun up, they don't require that extra bit of energy, and it drops back down to approximately about 350 watts, basically, and it spins up to about 1,000 watts for a split second coming down. But that's on the AC side, not on the DC side. So taking into account the efficiencies of the power supply and whatnot, it's pretty reasonable. But still, it is higher than what we anticipated. So what we're going to do is next is we're actually going to restart the unit. We're going to give it the command for staggered spin-up. Then we're going to restart the unit. We're going to show you what it looks like with staggered spin-up and how it affects the power profile. So now that the unit is booted up, what you see on the, uh, on the, uh, the desktop is the web RAID management software. So you double click that. So username is RAID and password is HPT. You log in. Now what you have is you have controller one. So we go to the physical setting. And then you click spin up. And you go to the bottom and you enable spin up. Oh sorry. Select all first and then enable. Yes. So it'll ask for the first 24 in card 1 to spin up and you click OK. And you go back to the top and you go to controller number 2. And you go to physical again. You go to spin up. You scroll to the bottom. You select all. You enable. And it'll again ask you on disk 2. There's 21 disks for a total of 45. Do you want to enable spin up? You click OK. Then you hit OK. And then you can exit out of that and basically go to shut down and click on restart. Now staggered spin up we're going to show you the power profile difference from a dead dead, uh, dead restart. So it's going to go into restart. Now watch the power meter. Now as you can see it takes a little longer to reboot because we're actually booting up each individual drive but you can see the draw is reduced quite a bit. It'll actually go up to about 200, up to about 350 watts. It'll start at about 200 watts, and it'll ramp up, I believe, to about 350 watts once it gets going. So each drive right now is being individually spun up with the 45 hard drives. Drives are now starting to kick in as you can see by the increased wattage readings. Now the drives are starting to individually kick in. It'll come up to about 350 watts or between 3 and 350 watts once it's completely staggered. You can see as each drive comes in it spikes up and then falls back. It's like a sawtooth pattern as it comes up. As you can finally see, as CentOS finalizes its boot up, it's in the range of roughly about where 
we expect it to be somewhere between 300 and 350 watts. And as you can see, the difference between using staggered spin up for the power profile at startup or using non staggered spin up, you can see the difference. We don't exceed 350 watts, whereas the other one peaks out roughly, let's say, 11 or 1200 watts total for a split second that comes right down. And you have to remember these are very aggressive 1 terabyte 7200 RPM drives, and they do draw a lot more current than a standard 5400 RPM drive. But as you can see, by using staggered spin up, you can use in a drive that has more aggressive, uh, more aggressive startup capabilities than you would be normally. It also will save you on the overall if you're reading in terms of peak demand. Um, it will use the peak demand in each one of them. Each one of them will start up with very low demand, which is very important in a data center. Well, that's our little video on staggered startup. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us at info at 45drives.com or jump on our form or our wiki. Um, we'll be happy to answer your questions. Um, thank you very much and have a great day.